But to show the, uh, how the e-assessment works, this is the standard one. It's the November 2016. So this was an actual exam paper, okay, that students in 2016 sat. Uh, I will install it onto your computer and perhaps I can put it on manage back as well. You double click the file and it will take a few minutes to open. Okay, so you'll be prompted with these details, okay? Um, the school code is ABC123. The candidate code is ABC123. And the access code is four nines, okay? So you don't need to remember this or anything. It will be on the YouTube video, so when you come to do it on Thursday or Monday, you can go back and just uh, recap, okay? Mm -hmm. So it is recording it. So when you get into it, It'll ask for your first name, and it doesn't really matter what you put in here. The school code again, it doesn't matter, okay, so you can just put whatever you want, all right? And then it may ask you if you want to continue. So when you start, it will tell you how much time you've got. Now this says, I've got 29 minutes left to finish the exam. Yours may have the full time, which will be two hours. Um, it gives you some information. There's eight questions, 120 marks. Um, the best thing to do here is to go to the invigilator menu and put in the invigilator code. Now the invigilator code is ABC, all capitals, 321, okay? ABC, all capitals, then 321. If you unlock that, it'll bring up this menu. Now this menu is really handy because you can add additional time, okay? So we can add as many minutes as we want here. So if I add, how many hours is that additional? Three hours, okay, good. So let's add, see, add three, okay. And then hit uh, back. That didn't seem to, let's see if it worked. Okay, so I've still got 27 minutes. Let me just try it again. It might be because I've done this before. ABC capitals, three, two, one. Additional time. It's about 100 minutes. 100. Zero, zero. What? <laughs> okay, let's try the 110 minutes. Okay, I'm guessing it's because I've done this before, okay? But if you do it, add in an extra 180 minutes and it will increase your time, okay? You'll be met with all the questions, okay? So to start a question, you just click on it. And there will be certain things uh, that will give you the question, some information, and uh, the questions will be underneath, okay? So it will ask you certain things. You can type whatever you want into here. It's also got an equation editor. Um, which is here, so you can put equations in. So I can do, you know, the square root of two thirds. Okay, so just get used to practicing with it, okay? Even if you haven't, uh, if you have struggled doing the questions, get used to playing about with the equation editor. There's also special characters. Um, we can do subscripts easy enough just by doing all two above. You can also use a calculator, which is up the top, okay? So when you do your e-assessment, you'll not be able to have a calculator in the exam. You have to use this calculator, okay? Now, this calculator is quite nice um, because we can type whatever we want in, just like your normal calculator. And if you want to transfer your answer across into your text box, all you have to do is hit this little button and it will take a screenshot of what's on the calculator, okay? So the examiner can see exactly what you've put into the calculator, okay? So the examiner sees what's in here, not what's in the calculator, okay? You can transfer it across. Okay, so I'm gonna set certain questions that I want you to have a go at, and don't want you to do the whole thing because there'll be stuff in here that you won't have covered. Um, any questions on that? Yes, Delia. Do you, 
Um, they don't care, but they you, that's for your working, okay? So you want to put as much working in there as possible, okay? Um, to pick up your method marks. I should all... Um, you will have scrap paper, but it will not be taken into consideration in the exam. Know, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, just also, some of the questions, so for example, question three here, you're given formulas, okay? So anything that's on the formula sheet, which is on manage back, it will also be in here if you need it, okay? Uh, let me just go back to, I want to find a particular question. Okay, so for example, here's a trig question. We'll give you a little video to watch. Okay, all very high tech, and then but it's also got the formulas for Pythagoras and trigonometry. Okay, so everything you need will be in this. Do we have to do this like silently, like a test? Um, yeah, you're going to do it individually. No, but like it, it's not going to be graded, but it will be done individually. Okay. Yeah, but it's not going to be graded. We'll go over it when we when I come back. Okay. Okay. 